Okay, um, in, a, in our yesterday session, we learned till back query and the type of variables. Okay, we covered so far. Now we are going to learn about RKF and CKF. Okay, so what is RKF? What is CKF? Okay, RKF means restricted key figure. Okay, what I'm talking here, RKF and CKF. Okay, R means restricted. Okay, key figure. And then CKF means calculated key figure. So what is a key figure? Key figure means, you know, the, you know, uh, the objects on which we perform arithmetic operations. You know, when we create info object, we divide info object into two types. Characteristic info object, key figure info object. Key figure info objects are nothing but the columns on which we perform arithmetic operations. Okay. Those comes under key figure concept like integer, quantity, currency. Okay. Like that. Now in our Bex query designer, so we have this RKF CKF concept. So when I click on this key figure right click, when I right click on this key figure structure, okay, there is an option called, you know, mm, new formula, new, uh, new selection. New formula is nothing but, you know, CKF, calculated key figure. New selection is nothing but RKF, means restricted key figure. Okay, and if I go to here, reusable components, on the left hand side under info provider tab if i right click on the reusable components here also i can see new restricted key figure new calculated key figure i can create it here and if already created uh, the ones which are already created those i can see under this folder so as of now there are nothing here it means n n nothing was created okay so now let's create some rkf ckfs in my rip query under key figure section okay so i'm right clicking here and then I'm going to first formula, it means CKF. So first we learn about CKF, then we learn about RKF. So what is CKF here? So CKF means calculated key figure. It means calculated key figure means where we are applying some calculations on it. For example, here you have a quantity column, quantity, and here you have an amount column. So quantity 10, and the amount is 100. If you want to multiply these two, then what you need to, you are applying a formula. What is that formula? Quantity multiplied by amount. Okay. So this is nothing but calculated key figure. Means this key figure. Now this is a column in report. This is a column in report. And in the report, you are add, multiplying quantity and amount and creating another column. And this column, since we are doing some calculations, they are calling it as a calculated key figure. Okay, and here you can give uh, net amount. I can give this, you know, and giving like this. So how I am going to create this one? So when I right click on the key figure structure, there is an option called new formula. Go here, and when you go to new formula, you see on the new formula there are two sections, three sections are there mainly. One is formula section, groups, and then formula elements. Okay, so what is the formula? Here we are going to write that A into B logic. For example, in our scenario, if we want to multiply quantity and amount, I am going to my write my formula here. You can write different formulas also, not only A into B, A plus B. Uh, we learn it later. But this is the formula section. On the left hand side, you see SAP is giving structured key figures. Means, whichever uh, this key figure is a structure. Under this structure, whichever available, those can be displayed here when you click on this key figures structure key figures when you click on cells this is a different place variables means uh, this concept have we not yet covered so some kind of variables comes here we talk about later percentage functions means in your formula if you want to apply some functions percentage related functions then those functions are available here for example a mod b so here you cannot write a mod b on your own. So a and mod mod you know under mathematical functions you have mod operator something like this. Okay, we use the functions which are available uh, which are given by SAP. So to perform different kind of arithmetic operations here, SAP is giving a lot of uh, predefined functions, percentage, percentile, data functions like you know um, cumulative count, no you know these are also very important i will teach you um, report result time something something like this mathematical functions so based upon your business requirement you will apply it so you no need to know each and everything here but uh, you know business knows based upon their business requirement they know what to do for example they want to do a by b 
they will tell i want to do a by b if they want to do a mod b business will tell you apply this formula then i will get what i am expecting so as per their requirements we will do apply uh, you know functions here so now in our case what i am going to do to quantity into amount so double clicking here and into you know there is a double into double star and the single star uh, we need to use single star okay i will let you know when exactly we use this double star also okay now i am selecting this single star which is nothing but into and then amount so now what happens now it is coming uh, no red color marks if any red color mark is there for example the single quote is missing we are seeing this red color it means uh, it is telling syntactically it is not correct unexpected error so it is very mandatory to make sure we don't have any errors here then click on ok so when you click on ok what exactly we are doing we are trying to multiply quantity with amount and the important point is here quantity is binding with the, its its unit amount also binding with its unit okay so when i click on save button and i will go to my you know analysis for office and i am taking a new sheet here i am going to insert data source this is my selection and i am clicking on ok now this is my output now if i see my output you see what is this coming 20 into 200 which is 4000 4000 the unit you see on the top exactly we are getting the units here i am getting dollar and pieces both are get, i am getting here okay so it, it is not a proper unit because dollar unit dollar pc is not a you know proper unit why i am getting this so when i take my report output this is my initial report output so what happening here if you see uh, i am getting both dollar and pc how this dollar pc is coming here so because i am trying to multiply 20 pieces with 200 dollars okay system is doing 20 into 200 which is 4000 and then it is trying to keep pc and ust both the further reason you are getting this symbol on the top like dollar pc which is not correct actually i know net amount is an amount field which is kind of dollar is correct pieces whatever i am cutting here it is a wrong dimension okay i need to suppress my pieces information means a unit information here quantity unit information so how can i suppress quantity unit information so in our uh, query designer if i go to my formula this formula quantity whatever quantity unit is coming i need to suppress my unit here so how can i suppress my unit here on the data functions you have a function sap given one standard function called no dim what exactly it means value without a dimension if I use this formula, this function, it gives my value without a dimension, means no unit. For example, if I apply this no dim on my quantity, now quantity is coming with P unit. Now after applying it, I will get the quantity without unit. Okay. So I am selecting here on the starting of my key figure, selecting no dim and within the argument i am giving my quantity at the end i am keeping my bracket so after noting within the brackets between the brackets i am giving my quantity information so this will give my quantity value without unit what exactly it means so it will give this 20 without pieces means 20 i will get so 20 into 200 now 4000 usd i will get without pc so this is how i am getting my expected value so this is my expected value so i am able to achieve it by writing this formula in this way so i am clicking on ok saving my query and then you know going to my afo and as for office now i will reset my query go to refresh all reset data source and then what will happen system will try to fetch data again from the source now you see my net amount dollar is coming and uh, your values are also coming as expected okay so now you see everywhere i am getting 4000.00.0 these are nothing but decimal places dot zero zero are nothing but decimal places i can you know i can handle these decimal places if you click on net amount on the right hand side you see the properties of this key figure what are the properties here hide highlight number of decimals this is one of the important property we always take care in production in our real time so number of decimals i can restrict if user don't want to see decimal at all I can make it decimal places zero. So by doing so, what will happen? You see, I am saving my see, AFO now. So back query. I am going to my AFO. I will refresh my query. Reset data source. 
So earlier I have decimal places here. Now see now decimal places gone. So if user don't want to see decimal places then at all then at back query level I can make it you know zero decimal places. This is this is like permanent setting. So any person who is executing this report in AF4 or any other you know tool they won't see any decimal places. But if user wants to enable decimal places there is an option at AF4 level also. If I go to analysis tab go to measures select your net amount you see there is a decimal places here here also you can you know uh, handle it internally but this afo level setting is restricted to this afo only another person if any from other system someone is opening again they won't see any decimals okay um, so it is like this so this is one option now this is called calculated key figure Okay, CKF, we call it as CKF. Why it is CKF means we are doing some calculations. This is one of the simple formula which I am explaining to, you know, learn about your CKF.